Hey guys, it was requested that I do a get to know me tag. I chose this one off of rootreport.com because I know the one that people generally do on YouTube is actually meant for like Tumblr. And I think it starts off with like, what are you wearing? And when you're on camera, that's just not really a suitable question because you can see. So this has 50 questions and I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, I might skip some just for time reasons. Are you named after anyone? Um, yes. Well, being trans, I named myself and I actually named myself after a store that I went to. It was like an old-timey western store and it was called Maddox General Store. So, Maddox. Do you have kids? If no, how many do you want? I do not have kids and I do not want any. What's the first thing you notice about people? Physically, I notice people's eyes first, generally. And personality-wise, I pay a lot of attention to uh, just general manners and politeness and how they treat other people. What is your eye color? Naturally, like blue-gray. Scary movies or happy endings? Scary movies. Favorite smells? The smell of clean laundry, and I know they try to like make that candles and stuff like clean linen, but the actual smell of like switching your laundry out of the washer into the dryer is like my favorite thing ever and it has never mattered. What detergent I was using? Just that smell of like clean. What's the furthest you've ever been from home? Living in Florida, I went up to Canada from Florida, I went over to California from Florida, and I went down to Mexico from Florida. Where were you born? I was born in Michigan. What's your zodiac sign? Do you believe in it? I'm in Aries, and to a certain extent, yes. I don't believe that things that happen to me or things that I do are out of my own control or that I'm not in charge of like my own destiny based on like how the planets are currently aligned, you know what I mean? What are your hobbies? Um, it's interesting thinking about this. My hobbies are like what I already do for like work. So my hobbies are like drawing. I'm not, I'm an illustrator. And makeup, I make makeup tutorials and fitness I was a personal trainer like at this point I don't really have hobbies I guess video games because there's no way that I can really get paid for playing them so do you have any pets I have a cat named Shelby who is the love of my life she's a tattoo on my neck and I have a dog named Bailey she's right there do you have any siblings I have one sister older sister named Mackenzie how tall are you I'm 5'4 no I'm not I'm 5'5 <laughs> I was five four at one time. What was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? My favorite was art or like whatever art classes I was taking. So in high school, I went to high school that had like an art concentration and within there, there were majors and I was in technical theater. So all of my technical theater classes would have been my favorite classes because it was was and is what I'm very passionate about. And I guess my worst subject would have been uh, pre-calculus and pre-calculus. It was so hard and I'm not super into math. I used to be pretty good at it, like I was really good at algebra and geometry and pretty much everything leading up to calc and then God is dead. No. <laughs> what is your favorite drink, animal, and perfume? My favorite drink, uh, tea. Uh, various different kinds, generally. Hot tea, my favorite right now, is called like Sweet and Spicy by Good Earth, and it has a mango on the box. <laughs> and my favorite animal, I really like farm animals. I like cows and pigs and goats, and I really love cats and anteaters. And perfume, my favorite perfume is from Norway. It's called Layla. What sports do you play slash have you played? I grew up playing gymnastics, or playing gymnastics, <laughs> I grew up doing gymnastics, playing softball, um, I swam a lot, I grew up, well I was born in Michigan, I was there for a few years, but I mainly spent like the majority of my adolescence in Florida, so I was swimming all the time, we always had a pool, or we were always very near the beach, and currently I am getting into CrossFit, and hopefully I can do something with that. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I've talked about this before, but this might surprise some people that I don't watch 
I make tutorials on YouTube, and I don't even really watch goth YouTubers anymore. I used to all the time. I was like obsessed with It's Black Friday and Talks of Tears and people like that. But now, or like the past many years really, I've only been watching like cooking videos, videos about vegans or health or fitness. Like, that's like all I watch. So my favorite YouTubers currently, Brooke Entz. Natasha Ocean, I'm going to say that wrong, and I'm going to give you a third one. I want very badly to give you a third one. Uh, let's just say Kate Flowers. What phone do you have, iOS or Android? iOS. How's your relationship with your parents? Awesome. <laughs> one of these questions is what's on your mind as if I'm not currently thinking about this quiz right now. One word that describes you. Uh, I always say passionate. Any pets? Why is it asking that second time? Are you an extrovert or, or an introvert? I am an introvert. Are you left or right-handed? I am right-handed, but I can do a fair amount actually with my left hand. You'll see sometimes in my makeup videos I switch hands, and also when I play softball I very often batted left-handed. Do you consider yourself a good cook? Yes. If money were no object, what would you get yourself for your next birthday? A camper? A used camper that I could work on? If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Personally, I'd like to live in a variety of different places throughout my life. Now I do like living in Florida. I would like to live in Savannah again, that's where I went to college, Savannah, Georgia. I would like to live in New York. I would like to live in like Oregon, like Portland. I'd love to live in California. I'd really love to live in Toronto. Like there's a lot of places where I'd like to live. Um, I don't see myself settling anywhere for any extended amount of time. What's your longest relationship so far? Six months. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got to know me a little bit better during this tag. If there's any other questions that you have like about me in general, like go ahead and leave them below and I'll try my best to answer them. Other than that, please check out the links in the description. Um, check out my Patreon if you can, support, share, what have you, it would mean the world to me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.